Okay, so what exactly is a wing scapula? I'll demonstrate here. A wing scapula is the position of the shoulder blade relative to the rib cage. So, winging of the scapula is when the shoulder blade is pulling away and it almost looks like angel wings coming off the body. And that's why it's called a wing scapula. So, I'm going to ask you to take your shirt off, Jeff, with the help of my cousin. We're going to demonstrate. Now, lift your arms straight up and come down slowly. Let me just adjust this so you can see. Come down very slowly. Okay, stop right there. So, as you can see, the shoulder blade is sticking out a little bit away from the body. The medial line is coming away from the body, from the ribcage, and I can actually get my hand underneath this ribcage, uh, underneath the shoulder blade, sorry. And it's caused by a weak serratus anterior. And as, if you can see, his one shoulder, his right shoulder, is higher than the left shoulder. And that's because the serratus anterior is weak, and the levator scapula is pulling tight. So there's a dysfunction with the shoulder blade where it's rotating outwards and causing the winging. So I'm going to show you simple exercises that you can do and it's going to alleviate that and it's going to take away all the compression and pain that you're feeling in your arm and shoulder blade. Okay, okay so the first stretch we want to do, we want to lengthen the rhomboids and stretch those shoulder blades apart. You want to stretch as if you're reaching for something. Keep your glutes against the wall so that your back is nice and straight and reach. So we're going to keep it glutes against the wall, lock your arms together and then bend forward and stretch. Feel those rhomboids stretching apart. Okay, reset. Just do one more. Lock them together. Okay. Back against the wall and then reach. You want to lengthen it. This is just going to open up those rhomboids. It's going to teach those muscles to function and fire properly again because right now Stand up again. Right now, they're contracting the wrong way. So, lengthening and stretching them, you're going to get that function back. That's stretch number one. You want to do it as often as you can. Do okay, so this exercise is called an apple picker. Because you're basically going to be reaching as if there was an apple. And you want to keep your body straight. And you just want to stretch as, as far as you can without leaning forward. And you're going to feel that burn in the serratus anterior. Now that's the muscle you want to strengthen to get rid of your wing scapula. So what we're going to do, get a band, a resistance band, put it against something solid. You want to stand up straight. Now you want to reach with your one arm without leaning forward and reach for that apple. Pretend there's an apple there. Now you want to reach as far as you can, stretching this muscle. And once you're there, you want to hold it for a few seconds, five to 10 seconds, and you want to put it down slowly and you want to rotate this shoulder blade in a controlled manner and you're going to put that apple in the basket. So just imagine that figuratively, you're stretching, you're reaching for that apple, keeping a straight body, rotating this shoulder blade, grabbing your apple, keeping it in a controlled position and then dropping it and that's your start position again. Okay, so because your body's been in this state for so long and your muscles compensate you have to do something called neuromuscular re-education, which is basically training your muscles to function and fire in the proper way. So this exercise is basically going to focus on the serratus anterior and strengthen it to keep that scapula down and not rotate too far up and cause that wing scapula. Okay, the next thing we want to address is the levator scapula, which is this muscle here, which is causing his one shoulder to be higher than the other. And most people with TOS or any shoulder injury, your one shoulder is higher than the other due to compensation. So that's due to the levator scapula. So what we want to do is we want to upwardly rotate the scapula because the levator scapula wants to downwardly rotate it. So it starts compensating and pulling everything up. So what you want to do, if your problem is on your right side, you want to look down to the left. So what, what you're going to do, you're going to stand against the wall, hold your head, Look down into this pocket here, and you want to upwardly rotate this arm. Put it against the wall and upwardly rotate. This is going to give you that stretch, it's going to lengthen that muscle, it's going to train it to sit in its normal position. So you want to hold this for a few seconds, you can go down again, and you want to do it a few repetitions at a time. Now you want to do as often as you can because everything is compensating and everything is misfunctioning. 
So you want to do it a few times a day if you can. Make it a habit to get that muscle functioning again. So we're going to do it again. Do it opposing to your shoulder, the shoulder that's affected. So if it's your right shoulder, you're going to look to the left. You're going to keep your, your shoulders against the wall steady. You want to look down into that pocket. You want to upwardly rotate this right arm and feel that stretch. Okay. You can relax. So that's exercise number two. Okay, this next exercise is called wall screws because you're basically just going to stand against the wall. You're going to externally rotate your arms outwards. So the key with this is to keep your thoracic spine straight but protract your shoulders forward so that you're getting that stretch. You don't want to compensate. Just round your back. You don't want to round your back and everything's compensating so when you're doing it, nothing's really working. You want to keep a straight back. You're straight, head up. Go forward, straight. And then you, with a straight back, you want to protract your shoulder blades only forward. Okay, go protract. There we go, keep it a little bit straighter. There we go. From here, you want to externally rotate. So open your hands up. Keep those protracted. Keep holding. Okay, back slowly and reset. So you want to do a few of these. The key to this is keeping a straight back, protracting your shoulder blades forward, but still keeping a straight back and then externally rotating your hands outwards. Okay, so the next exercise we want to do is using the resistance band again. We want to keep a straight back at the bottom here, but we want to keep our shoulder blades protracted forward so that you get that stretch. So keeping that rounded forward posture, we want to take the resistance band, feel where it's comfortable, and you want to open it up. You don't want to squeeze your shoulder blades together. You want to keep that protraction and hold and squeeze it out slowly. And coming back, you want to slowly keep that position and slowly do that. You don't want to open up and just squeeze your shoulder blades together. You want to keep that protraction and just keep that solid, slow. You're going to feel those, those muscles working and they're going to strengthen. Okay guys, so please go do these stretches, do the exercises. It is definitely going to help you. It's going to strengthen your shoulder blades. It's going to strengthen the serratus anterior, lev levator scapula. It's going to keep that shoulder blade down and against your ribcage as it should be. And it's going to give you more range of motion without the dysfunction as well. So please like the video, subscribe. You can turn on the little bell because I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos with a lot of exercises. At least you'll get updates all the time. And just be consistent. Take it slow. Don't overdo it. But... Make it a habit in your daily life and you will recover.